aquas. What is up for my aquas? Month of March. We're doing it. We're doing it. The song I got on shuffle for you guys was Bad Intentions by Nikki Heaton. So I got some damn bad intentions. I got some secrets I forgot to mention. Haven't learned my lesson. So do you guys have some uh, bad intentions towards somebody? And um, like the song's very like, it, like it's, it has like a sexy connotation to it. So it's not like bad intentions, like Ted Bundy style or anything. Um, I think like bad intentions, like it, like feeling very like passionate towards somebody. Do my aquas have that new love? You guys have been like killing it with the new love. Uh, in a lot of my readings. So um, are you guys moving forward with that? You'll have to let me know. Remember guys, this is a general reading. So not everybody's going to resonate with it. If you want something more personal, the best thing to do is book a personal reading with me, which the link will be below in the description box. But let's get into it. Let's see what the cards got to say from my aquas. Energy between you and another person, the high priestess. Are you guys not talking? Ooh, 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 not talking to someone. The judgment card. And the devil. What? Are you guys dealing with a Capricorn? A Capi? Maybe a Pisces? The judgment card's here. Um, I feel like you guys, there's somebody that you're on the fence about. You're trying to make your judgments about them. I think you're making the wrong judgments. I think you have the wrong idea about somebody. Um, and it could be this high, pr uh, I feel like you guys are the high priestess kind of taking your time to observe this person you want to approach. I feel like you guys have been observing for a very long time that you're at this point in your head about it. You've come up with like a billion different situations about who this person is. But let me tell you, Aquas, the only way you can find out for sure is just like go spend some time with this person. Like you're trying to read all these different situations and you're like almost coming up with these toxic thoughts. And it's not allowing you to move forward um, towards this person. So the best way to figure out about someone, but I feel like you guys are just biding your time and like figuring out who this person is, everything about them. You guys are a little bit like Joe from you. If anybody's watched that Netflix show, that's the vibe I'm getting from this energy. Or somebody's doing this to you. Oh no, Aquas. All right. Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Yikes. What is this seven of pentacles doing here? I mean, I like the number seven. The king of swords. So I feel like somebody's coming in giving you, going to give you a communication. Um, somebody wants to work on this situation. So they're going to come in and be like, hey, what's the deal? I feel like you guys are still very guarded. And remember, this can always be vice versa. Why is the seven, the higher fans? You guys are guarded because you want that the higher fans here. So you want that commitment. You want that relationship. You don't want to invest time if this person's not the one. So you're kind of biding your time to figure out if this person's the one. This person's going to communicate to you. What does this person have to say? The world. Um, they might be communicating to you either an ending or like, hey, like let's take, let's, let's get the ball rolling. Let's move forward because I, I'm like sick of waiting. So this person's going to if that's not you, this person's going to move things forward by be like, hey, 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 what's going on here? Why haven't we talked? Why aren't we working on this? Why aren't we moving forward? That could be you or the other person. But I feel like you're the one with your guard up because you're looking for that relationship, that, that perfect relationship that you want. All right. So the delay could be because the death card's here. Why is the death card here? The hermit. You guys could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, this person's, because of the silence, they've taken a lot of time to think about this. Um, there has been this delay. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Queen of Cups, because you're not offering love. So either they're coming in and telling you of this ending. They might be... Um, 
telling you that they've moved on. This could be you telling this other person that you've moved on, that you're done working on this situation. But I see you kind of walking away. The only other option is that this death card could mean like, you know, you guys finally move forward. But with the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I don't see that. But here's the thing, Aquas, and don't look at this negatively because the fact that I feel like it's taken you so long to pull the trigger on this means that something about this person isn't resonating with you. This person's going inward and doing their work and they might figure out the same thing. So remember, it's not, you never have, there's no such thing as a missed opportunity. If you weren't wanting to move quickly on this person, it's because something didn't resonate. Something didn't resonate, so you are right in not moving forward. Um, the King of Wands. Oh, and there it is, baby. You guys, when you guys kind of accept the fact that this relationship, walking away from this one, accepting that fact, you got the King of Wands coming in. And guess what? You guys are the King of Cups for this person, whereas you were the Queen of Cups in reverse. You offering that cup of love. You offering that big cup of love. And this person's offering you their wand. Because they probably got some damn bad intentions. <laughs> um, yeah, so this person's going to match your energy more so that it makes you want to give that love. This person's going to be very fiery. Oh, and the Knight of Pentacles. But they're going to come in offering some stability. It's not like they offer, and you're the chariot, so you're moving full speed ahead. Whereas with this person, you couldn't pull the trigger, but somebody's coming in that's going to light that fire under your ass where you move ahead like with full speed. Um, for some of you, it could be this person deciding like, hey, this is, we need to move this forward. And you decide, okay, time to move it forward. But for some of you, I feel like you're walking away from this other person and letting this new person come in. And when this new person comes in, you have no doubt in your mind, Aquas. No doubt. No, 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 no doubt. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Um, in the extended reading, I'm going to be doing messages from this person, actions this person's going to take, advice from your spirit guides, and um, blockages towards this connection. So if you're interested, follow me there. Bye-bye.